Okay, so these pre-trib rapture people are talking about an alien disclosure, okay? And, uh, oh, they're wild about it. All these different science fiction fantasy type horror things that they dream up. If I were the enemy, I'm going to tell you, if I were the enemy, what I would do, okay? If I were the enemy, I would send demons calling themselves aliens to make these Christians who are pre-trib rapture believers disappear. And you say, well, what would you do with them? Eat them? Who knows what? Whatever you want to do to them. Torture them? Eat them? Who knows what? Just make them disappear. Then it looks like they were right. Ah, see? And that's when you bring the Antichrist on the scene, claiming to be Christ. And people will realize that they didn't make it to the rapture. And here's Christ. They got a second chance. He's giving them another chance. So they gather around him. And he espouses that I came. I came before the tribulation. I came and I gathered those who were faithful to me. And I'm giving you a chance now. Now you can hear that when I'm out here on the balcony and I make videos that it's quiet all day long. Absolute peaceful quiet. Then suddenly some big loud vehicle goes by while I'm making video. Yeah, they don't want you to hear it. So that's what I would do. If I were the enemy, that's what I would do. I would go ahead and make them disappear. And then I would claim, I'd bring someone on the scene who claims to be Christ, who will sit and deceive the rest of the people who are there. And they'll give in. And they'll take the mark of the beast thinking it's the mark of God. And you got him. That's what I would do. So what I'm saying is this. You have to beware. You have to pay attention to what God says in the scriptures. And if it says that there is no pre-trib rapture, there is no pre-trib rapture. Don't believe it. Don't buy in. Even if people disappear, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Because otherwise you'll be deceived. You've got to believe what God said, not what these men and women are saying out of their imaginations. Remember, with the time of Noah, why God destroyed everyone on the face of the earth. Because their imagination of their hearts had become completely perverse and wicked. And that's what we see in these people. They refuse to agree with the scriptures. I ask them, I say, because I, I, I want to agree with the scriptures all the time. Anything that I hold that's not scriptural, I want to know. And so I ask them, just in case they're right, because I didn't have a view at first. And I asked them, I said, show me in scripture where it says that it's going to be before the tribulation. None of the ones that they showed me held up. Even in the English, it didn't. In the English, it was at best ambiguous. When you get to the Greek, there's no question that it wasn't true. There's nothing this pre-trip. Nothing. So, either you agree with Scripture, or you just don't call yourself a Christian. Because you're just leading people astray. Of course, maybe that's why you're here. To lead people astray. That's what false teachers and false prophets are for. Those of you who are hearing this with your ears open, I want you to keep very, very, very close to the scriptures. Always keep what, hold whatever you, you believe like this in terms of the scriptures. In other words, let the scriptures change whatever's in your hand to match what is in God's testimony. Do not believe the imaginations of men. Like Disciple Robert saying, that it doesn't have to say it in Scripture because he's had personal revelation and that's all that matters. That is not all that matters. Because when your personal revelations contradict the Scriptures, then you tell me who's right, you or God. That spirit who's giving you these experiences or God, who wrote that testimony for us to safeguard us, to protect us, so that we will make it to eternal life. If you believe a deceiving spirit, you will not make it to eternal life. You will not be saved.
End of story. So it's your choice. Either you conform your beliefs to the scriptures or you're not going to be saved. You're going to be damned. Those of you who hear what I'm saying, keep true to the scriptures. And may the Lord bless you as you seek him with all your heart.